Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Fizzler Logic by Hanky Mueller. And we actually played number one and number three on a live stream a long time ago. I don't actually remember which one it is, but I will put a link in the description if I remember. So, the description says, Welcome to Fizzler Logic. The first test is pretty easy, but it will help you understand the core mechanics of all the other, more difficult tests. If you feel you don't need the introduction, go ahead and skip it. Hope you have fun. And we are starting out with number two. Second Fizzler Logic test. Hope you enjoy. What happens to the speedy thing? Hint, it gets fizzled. Alright, let's see for ourselves. We have a flip panel here. Interesting. Got a cube up here, which does the fizzler, and what else? The exit? The exit. Interesting. At the end of the day, we want to... Do what exactly? I guess we want to block the laser long enough? Alright. Also... Also, I might have slightly trapped myself, but not, not, not fully. Only slightly. Yeah, we can get back in here. All right. Come on. If we can get in here just like that, then why is this portable wall here? Let's do this. And can we, can we do this? Not quite. White. Unfortunately, we cannot block the laser as simply as that. Huh. But we might be able to do it as simply as that. That might work. Let's try that. Ooh, just barely not high enough, huh? see any other way to block the laser. And this doesn't allow us to get up here, even if we had the cube. And I don't think we're gonna try and rush for it by, like, placing a portal here or something. That wouldn't really make much sense. What is that flip panel spot for? What is with this weird geometry also? Why is it... Are those stairs or something? Why would there be stairs here? Are those stairs? What- what triggers the stairs, then? Strange... Wow, I haven't done that before, I don't believe. I want to see that again. That was cool. Whoa! Holy crap! I want to use that in a map. That is, that is crazy. So, for those of you who don't understand what's happening here, uh, as objects fall, they get pushed towards the center of any portals that they're nearby that they're gonna, you know, potentially fall into. And so, simply by having it fall near the green portal, it will 
get pushed towards it, and since it, the light bridge is blocking it, it actually gets stuck frictioning itself on the light bridge. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Though I don't think it's the solution in this map, unfortunately. Also, I just realized the cicadas are getting really loud right now, so I apologize if you can hear cicadas on the recording. I just realized this is the appropriate height. Duh. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's go ahead and fizzle this dude. It would be the best way to do that. Oh. Well, I completely failed at that. Whoops. I meant to shoot this portal on the ground, thank you. Alright, so let's see here. Portal here. Portal here. We will lift ourselves up to be mm, the appropriate height, eventually. A little bit more. That might do it. Let's see here. We block it. Still no stairs though, which is strange. Ah, so that... that is a helper for us to place a black portal. Although if you'd done it over here, or slightly offset, this might not be so helpful. Alright, so now we just gotta go stand on the platform and fire a black portal. There we go. Ta-da! Well, guys, that's not the end of the episode, because we are going to continue playing the rest of this collection. Let us continue. Actually, I want to add this to favorites, because that's a good map. Alright, next... is... Foursquare, by Hanky Mueller. We'll read the description momentarily. Let's see. The fourth Fizzler logic puzzle. Hope you enjoy. Okay, well that's not actually much of a description, but okay. Interesting. What's going on in this map? You can totally make that jump, I hope you know. Let me just show you here. I've done this before. Let's try this again, because I know, I know, I can do that jump. Come on. That is totally possible to do. Of course, as soon as you don't mess things up, like I am. Ah, come on. I know it's possible. I've done it before, in a Death Witch map, a long time ago. I really want to do it. Just, just for the sake of doing it. We'll do this, or we'll give up. One or the other. Alright, I give up. Let's just pretend that I made it. And it's actually not that helpful. Yeah, I guess I could try and grab this guy. Alright, fine. Okay, so we jump down here. What does that do? Does... what now? There's two Fizzlers here. Really? Does this change which one is active? Or... Okay then. I don't really understand what's going on right now. But it sounds like a whole bunch of different things are happening at once. Also, how would I get up there? Do I have to, like, disable that fizzler or something? Yeah, it looks like I need to get to here at some point. That does that, and then I can do this, right? Oh, but that's not the only requirement? What else is there? What the heck is this? Ooh, okay. Let me just fizzle this. Where did... There it is. There we go. So, now that we have that taken care of... Oh, okay then. Fine. 
be that way. <laughs> Let's take this. Get a new one. Do that, please. Take this guy. Put it here, it doesn't really matter too much. And now we can do whatever this is. Does... that simpler? Okay, and I guess we can put this here-ish? And then moon. Oh, so we just fizzled it. Yep, there we go. Alright. On to the next. Number five. We will read the description once the map loads... momentarily. Let's see... Reverse. Welcome to the fifth. Okay, well, that's that's a yet another boring description. All right. Hello. Hey, companion cube. Right off the bat. What does this do? Whole bunch of stuff, huh? Huh. Well, okay then. I feel like I've seen this before. I think I might have seen. Somebody play this. Potentially Death Wish. I don't know. Nothing reverses that funnel, right? Hmm. Alright, well, clearly I'm not supposed to do that. Let's just put this here for now. And I did it again. Whoa! That, like, tossed itself onto there, that was weird. This game is so strange sometimes. Alright, I still don't see how to get over there, though. I think that's not helpful. We need a cube here. I guess... I could just do this. That's something, right? First of all, we have to fix this, because, uh, it got tilted whenever I accidentally funneled it. There's that... and it's fixed. Awesome! So if we put it... Ah, the portal messed it up again. If we put it... right here... Theoretically... Theoretically... Allows us to do. I don't know, I guess. This? Then we can do this, right? Did that grab it? Oh, yes, it did! Well, what do you know? Hey! Perfect. What do you know? That was quite lucky, actually. Actually, wait a minute, why did I even need that cube? Did I even need that cube? Oh, I did. Okay. Ooh, okay, I just need to swap them. Alright. I see how this is. Where it turned out a lot better than I was expecting it to turn out. Do that, and then I put this guy back over here. Wait. Yes. There we go. Give me this. And put it here. Sit here. Thank you. And on to the next. All right. Man, those- those cicadas are loud. They get really loud. Oh, I don't have a portal gun right now. All right, well let's- let's walk up here and see if we get given one, perhaps. Ah, mono portal map! Ooh! Fun. All right. You guys know I like my mono portal maps just because they're so rare. Although, 
This is a black portal gun. I prefer the green portal gun. Whatever. What do we got going on here? What is this? A flip panel? Angle panel? That's an angle panel. What is even going on here? This looks all weird. It's the lighting. Uh... Where do I take this? Oh, it toggled the other fizzler. Alright. So I take this back in here, and then do this. And that's done that. We just need moon, right? Where's moon? Is moon... I don't see moon. Okay. This does slash. Oh wait, slash we need for the exit. I guess we'll have to put this here for now. Alright then. We've done that, right? I guess now we actually go over there. Alright. This here, and then we fizzle the edge of the safety cube, right? Valve. Thank you, Valve. All right. Now we put this back where it belongs. And that should allow us to exit, I believe. Yep. On to the next. Actually, I don't know what to rate this one. Because that- that wasn't really... challenging, I just went and put things on the next button that I could. Anyway, looks like we have another mono portal puzzle here. Oh, hello, cube. Where should I take you on this fine evening? How about... right here? Well, there's that. And we can put this right here, since it's not much else we can do with it. Yeah, is there an... there's not even any portal surfaces in there. Alright, now what? I guess... We'll take this through back here? Yeah. Do this. And then fizzle this guy? Yeah, that seems to be exactly what we do. Okay, well, that wasn't very much of a puzzle. Okay, this part... I don't use this guy here anymore, so what we can do instead... What can we do instead? I guess we can just redo the first part of the puzzle. Pull it through here. We can walk through here, and do this. Okay, that was okay. Better than the other one, I suppose. Maybe. Kinda hard for me to decide what to rate these when they're so simple. Oh, hat by fair date. Well, we're done. <laughs> well, guys, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I was not paying attention. Let me just double check, actually. And Did I play all of them? Yes, I think I did. Yep. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in a less flustered video. Goodbye!